Hello there, this is going to be your reading for April 1st through April 15th, 2021. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back, subscribers. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. I have clients all around the world at this point, so it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. The link below to my website has all the information there for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. Um, you can read about the benefits. Definitely read the testimonials page and you'll see that I do offer a 15% discount for your very first session with me um, or your first uh, distance energy session. So you could take advantage of that. I hope that's helpful for you. And I think that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for April 1st through the 15th, 2020. 21, excuse me, 2021. <laughs> My goodness, I've already fully shuffled. So let's just get into it. Wow, okay, that was quick. First two cards out, Taurus, we've got Ace of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. So those of you who are single, I feel like you have somebody brand new coming in for you with this Ace of Cups. Um, it could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, and I'm just feeling a lot of love here. I do feel your energy on this Queen of Pentacles. So I feel you could really be focused with um, your business and your work or taking care of the home. And when you're focused on that and the things that bring you joy and make you happy, that is when the love is going to show up. So this Ace of Cups is really kind of, I almost feel like it's going to surprise you a little bit. It's going to come out of nowhere, okay? Um, for those of you who are already in a relationship, I feel like, something's going to deepen within the emotional connection, okay? It could be that there's less stress at home and that's allowing for more of a connection. Um, yeah, I feel that strongly. But again, this Ace of Cups is somebody else and the Queen of Pentacles is your energy. With the Seven of Pentacles next, I feel this relationship coming in for you um, it may take a little bit of time to fully develop and fully, uh, you know, come to maybe a level of commitment. But I feel like the seed has been planted. It's time to just let it naturally flow, okay? The Seven of Pentacles really can be a card of patience, okay? A card of patience and waiting. It's like you've done the work, you've put in the effort, and now you're just waiting for the rewards to come in, okay? So in regards to the relationship, again, it may take a little bit of time to move forward. Um, I'm also feeling a little more earth energy here. Obviously, you are an earth energy, but within this relationship. So that's going to have things move a little bit slow as well. Let me see what else I've got for you here. Oops. Got four of them here. Okay. Interesting. So next up, we've got Knight of Wands and Five of Swords. Hmm, okay, Taurus, I'm feeling your energy here on this Knight of Wands, okay? Um, but it is a general reading, so this could also be somebody that you're dealing with, but either way, there's going to be a little bit of a disagreeance, okay? A little bit of, um, I don't want to say an argument, but just a little bit of a disagreeance. Um, somebody may be a little bit fed up here with something and they just kind of throw in the towel and walk away. So that could be you or that could be somebody that you are dealing with. Um, but since the back is turned here to the issue, I feel there's a message here that if this is being avoided, that is not going to help. I feel this is something that probably needs your attention. So if it is within the relationship, then try to look at how you can face it or deal with it versus maybe sweeping it under the rug or hoping that it will just go away. Um, because with these other two cards that came out here, two of pentacles and the moon card, it's almost like you're weighing out your options in regards to whatever this situation is. It could have to do with this relationship that you're in. If it is a new relationship, you know, you are being asked to take your time to let it grow naturally. Maybe you're weighing out your options or you're realizing that, yes, this person is 
the one or no, maybe they're not. But I feel whatever is being triggered here with a disagreeance, there's a little bit of pride and ego. And again, I'm not clear if this five of swords is you or the other person. Okay, so just take whatever resonates there. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but either way, you're weighing out your options, and I feel with the moon card, you're being triggered to kind of dig deeper, deeper to those um, maybe hidden emotions within you to get clear. On the surface, the moon card can have some fear and anxiety, but it, if you can get past the fear and anxiety, that is really where those hidden emotions are, and that's where uh, the truth is. That's where what really what you really want is okay but it's being brave enough to kind of break through that top layer okay and be in that vulnerable place yeah I feel like you're being asked to be vulnerable here Taurus which is not always easy um you could be dealing with a cancer I think I've also meant uh fire energy out here so Aries Leo Sagittarius and a lot of earth energy okay so it could be another Taurus or a Capricorn or a Virgo yeah there's something that is not being dealt with here there's a little bit of like sneaky information or information being left out mm, wow okay this could be popping up from the past you know you have this beautiful new love coming in for you with the ace of cups Sometimes when we have a really beautiful, sweet, authentic love that comes in, it tends to trigger us in all the unsweet, difficult, challenging love that we've had from our past if we haven't fully dealt with it, okay? So the Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, Three of Swords. This is a lot going on in the thoughts and the thinking in regards to love for you, Taurus. So I would be really aware of where your thoughts are. What are your beliefs about love? What are your beliefs about women or men in regards to love? Are they positive? Do they support what it is that you desire? Because if not, if it's out of alignment, then we can say we want one thing, but the inner vibration will attract another. So I just feel this is a very strong message that there's something that needs to be dealt with from the past. And as you face it, you're going to be able to move away from it. You know, leave those rough waters behind, come to smoother waters. Uh, but this is a lot of air energy, especially in one row. So I just feel that's really speaking to the energy of communication, how you use your words, what your thoughts are. Let me just clarify the outcome of why is this popping up for you? Okay, why is this popping up for you? So you can heal it and let it go with the death card. The death card brings an ending, a cycle coming to completion. So eek, as hard as it is, Taurus, to deal with our past triggers and pains, you know, if we just shove stuff them down, they don't really just go away. We may think that they do, but they don't, okay? Um, so whatever has happened in the past in regards to love for you, this new person coming in is going to help trigger some of that. So if you're a cross watcher and you are the love that has come in for your Taurus and they're maybe getting cold feet or pulling back or not clear, try and just give them a little bit of space so that they can face and deal with this within them because they are going to come out of this cycle. You see the sun coming up back here? That shows the dawn of a new day of letting go of these past issues, okay? So anything that's been hidden or any dishonesty, things like that may come to the surface that can be cleared, okay? I feel this is really important for you, Taurus, for whatever reason, okay? And again, this is a general reading, so this can be in regards to you or this can be about the person that you are dealing with. Again, I've got fire energy out here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I've got cancer energy, Scorpio energy, and a lot of earth energy. So other uh, Taurus or Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, but the outcome is you healing and moving past, okay? So for some of you, that may end this relationship and that it will be just a growing and learning relationship. For others, it's going to solidify it and deepen it, okay? So just take it as it is. Just take it as it is. And as I'm saying that, self-acceptance. 
accepting your wounds, accepting your past, accepting maybe some of the hurt you've been through in the past will help you to move forward, okay? Once we accept something, we don't have to like it, we don't have to agree with it, but when you can accept something, it brings you to the present moment and it allows you to move forward, okay? When we haven't accepted something, we're still caught up in wanting to fix it, change it, we wish it went a different way, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So this self-acceptance is like a beautiful, powerful message for you. What can you be more accepting about within yourself, within your relationships, within your life that would help free you up from the pains of the past, okay? I feel that's what this is about. Very powerful, Taurus. I hope this resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, rising sign, uh, really any placement of Taurus. Thank you for the comments below the video. I do love reading your comments. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, and I've been doing this full time for the last over three years now. And the link below to my website, all the information is there for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits. Um, definitely read the testimonials page, and you'll see I do offer a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it, Taurus. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to April and I will see you back here for the second half of April readings. Take care.